My name's Yannick Green, uh, British speed ski team uh, and top speed of 186.35 kilometres an hour. What got you into going fastest? <sighs> to be honest, I've always loved skiing, but um, I got into it after I stopped playing rugby because I used to be a professional rugby player in France for, for Biarritz and one of my um, one of my friends at university over there, he said, when, when your rugby career goes, try and give speed skiing a go. thought it was a joke, but... He gave me yeah. a pair of skis and uh, I tried it out for the first time here in Verbier for Amazing. about four years ago. When I'm not speed skiing, I, I'm a communications director for Team Evolution, which is a, an independent British ski academy okay, um, right. based in Austria. And we have um, about eight, I'd say a large majority of the British junior team on our, on our books and I represent them as a as basically like, sort of like an agent, finding them sponsors, media contacts and, yeah. and trying to get them to the next level so they can make it into the senior senior world of alpine racing so uh, uh, yeah those guys are hugely talented and I love working in that sort of environment so yeah you said uh, the pop key out at the practice event last weekend yeah the, um, there was a couple of snowboarders that had a go on it how did, how did they get on um, <laughs> they looked like they struggled to be honest uh, I'm not going to lie they, they didn't end up in a, in a very good state did they fall uh, over? They, they did fall, yeah. yeah. I didn't see their fall. I was concentrating on my run. Yeah. But uh, from what I heard, it was they had to get taken away by a helicopter. What's on a board that's going <laughs> to make it so much different to speed skiing? Well, obviously, I, I think you're crazy for doing it on a snowboard. I mean, people say we're crazy doing it on skis, but uh, snowboards, I don't think they're designed to probably go as fast. Nor are skis, but still, they're more stable. You're in a, in a tighter position. You're in a lower position. But snowboarding, yeah. it's you know, each to their own, I suppose. Um, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I, think I support you all the way with it, but uh, it's just making sure you get as low as possible and, and keep a flat base because yeah. if you catch an edge, you know, in skiing we can catch an edge, it, it can be okay if you, you can quickly rectify it because you, you're, on, you're on two pieces, but yeah. with a snowboard you catch an edge, you can't put your foot down in either straight direction, over. straight over, so yeah. it's about just keeping low, making yeah. sure that you're flat. And you pick a good line because the line is everything in this. And how's the uh, slope here t today? Has it been? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's right. so fast. Um, yeah. I mean, compared to last year when we did a we did a run from around about the same place, you know, you're putting on 20k. Wow. Because it's just such just good snow. It's perfect weather. Piece of um, No no wind at all. Any last tips before we go into the event itself? You suggest last tips? I suppose uh, <laughs> make sure you get your head straight uh, yeah. before you go. To think about nothing apart from the run. Get a good night's sleep before. Yeah. Um, try not to uh, to find yourself in the pub on four or, or yeah. anywhere else before, yeah, yeah, yeah. before the night <laughs> of the race. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and just keep confident. You know, yeah. obviously you, you're a confident snowboarder, so best of luck to you. And I think you'll you'll hopefully break the British uh, British record. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah, cheers. Oh, nice.